I'm Katie, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, I'm a mum of three and on my channel I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I'd love it if you subscribe for future uploads and do comment down below so that I can get to know you. Today's video is all about style and I've been working with Renee from Mummy Style to look at my wardrobe and the things that I own and how to put them together to look and feel stylish. So the where I'm at with my wardrobe and with my style right now is I have gone through my wardrobe several times and I've, I've shown it on here. You've seen me decluttering my clothes and I've got down to clothes that I like. But it's all very well having a wardrobe full of clothes that you like. But if you don't know how to style them, how to mix and match and put them together, then you can still end up looking and feeling a bit rubbish. And that's definitely where I've been. I just open my wardrobe and think, well, I like that and I like that. And then I put it on and it doesn't look right. And so Renee is a stylist and she's, you know, she's got so much experience and she does style experiences that help you. She, you know, does a one-on-one -on -one call with you and helps you to find your style. And I've got my one-to-one -one coming up, so I will take you along for the ride and we'll reflect at the end to see how I've got on. So how, how is your week then with the kids? I'm at school. School, we have clubs. Either they both have a club on a day or like one will have rainbows and the other one won't, but the other one will have brownies on a Thursday. So like today is brownies day. So every day is one of them. And William is now coming into the mix. So he has football on a Sunday and it's just never ending. So William's your youngest? Yeah. Yeah, do you have him in the weakest or does he have any No, school? no. Yeah. Um, he will start preschool next January. Um, and he'll be there for two terms and then he'll start nursery in the September but because he's a September baby I get him for longer yeah so he's here with me every day you juggle it having a toddler at home yeah get your two daughters to school clubs yeah. 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 Um, so these are the um, they're Topshop Jamie jeans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're slightly crop. Got a black pair as well. So they're so that's my three pairs of jeans: black, dark blue, and then the light, the light blue. So I've got a black uh, blazer. Yeah. Which I can't say I'm drawn to that often. This one, which obviously is still smart, but it's got like it's got a turn up. Um, it's just a little bit less structured. It's a bit of a, a boxier one. I have a few red things, but I'm realizing I don't think I like red. People say it suits me and I think it does suit me, but well, partly, I don't know if I'm influenced by Instagram. If I don't like it visually on a feed, do I not like it visually on me either? And I, do, I don't think I do. So I've got a couple of pencil skirts. This is what's inside out, but it's literally just a black, black pencil skirt, knee length. And then I've got this one, which I, again, I really love it, but I put it on and I just like, I look like I'm ready to serve some cocktails. So I don't, I really love it, but I don't know how to wear it. So I finished the phone call with Renee. Um, I feel like a weight's been lifting it off my shoulders, um, truthfully, because I feel like somebody is going to help me to look and feel nice. And as I said to her, I I have all the foundations, I have clothes that I know I love and that somewhere deep down in there, there are, there is a wardrobe that can work, but I don't know the rules. I don't know how to put things together to make them look good. So she's going to help me. But the first job she said was everything that we'd sort of sorted through and I'd shown her over the video call, I need to put back, but only put back the things that I know I love. I've got a few empty hangers here because I have sorted through and even though I've been ruthless in the past there's always room for growth. So now going through my wardrobe I feel like anything in here I would wear. So I've got my blazers, I've got some jackets, some trousers, some skirts, um, jeans, I've got leggings, I've got some dresses, and I've got a big cardigan there but the thing is what I need help with is how to put it all together here is a whole load of stuff i've got rid of um mainly reds the conversation um and i know a lot of you have said i suit red but um i'm really realizing that i don't enjoy wearing red so um 
yeah, a lot of reds, and then just some clothes that really make me feel a bit, a bit yucky. So, good load going to charity there. So she set me the challenge for the week to take a photo every single day, which I do anyway on my Instagram stories. So I'm just gonna tag her so she can see what my natural style is and my styling ability is, and then she is gonna help me sort myself out. I just, I never really know what she used to wear. So, I don't know, probably just my pumps again. Um, and I've just put a vest top underneath, tucked it in, um, just so that it's, I don't know, a little bit, a little bit cash. Just, just don't know. I never know what to wear, genuinely. Today is jeans again. I do just love jeans white t-shirt just tucked in at the front and I just I'm not sure about this cardigan but yeah pumps on again just every day I just look in the wardrobe and I'm like, I don't know what to wear just don't know I'm so excited I've just had the email through from Renee with my style report so she has spent the last week looking through the whole internet to find things that suit my style. So a reminder, that looks like mum life I need, um, but I also really love structured, like smart clothes, almost like I'm some sort of lawyer that goes and does law. So hopefully she has found style that mixes those two together. Okay, so first image, like the front page here well that's just me isn't it smart blazer but with jeans um i don't have any ripped jeans um i don't know that i can pull it off i might have to try some on um to see and with pumps which is what i wear every day um and just adding a blazer just smartens it up a little bit okay so hi katie welcome to your mummy style lookbook Following our one-to-one -one and your outfits of the day, I've collated what I believe is your top 10 must-have items. Feeling stylish and put together is a mindset created by feeling confident in your wardrobe choices, which is something I've really struggled with. Invest in the everyday basics, such as jeans and jersey basics. That's that's what I need to do. That's what I don't have right now. So let's, I wanna see, I wanna see. Okay, so denim with stripes, which is cool blue. And she said, if there's a hero piece to the cool blue trend, it would be your jeans, which is true. I wear my jeans all the time. Roll up the hems or better still cut them off and allow them to go raw. I love, I love this trend. I really do. Um, and I have, I have white trousers, so I can team that up with a denim blouse. I could do that. Uh, tan summer. I don't think I own anything creams or browns. I've always steered away from them. So what did she say? This is the trend that she feels slightly more formal. Well, that's just me. That That is just me. Um, but I do steer away from the browns and the creams. I should give them a go. All my everyday top 10 wardrobe staples. Let's see. It's a khaki jacket I already own. I don't own a denim skirt. This color, oh that frightens me it's so colorful uh number four wide leg culottes again that's that's a brave choice because i feel wide enough as it is so i'll have to try them and see um denim boiler suit again i like that trend i'll have to have a try they're all very me though all i can see them all coming together yeah i just i love it all really and still with the black and the white which i do love but i always struggle making it not look like I'm off to the office. I just love everything. Everything is just amazing. It's just, I can see myself in all of the pieces. Oh, I love it, Renee. So I've printed everything off and I'm just gonna keep this. Um, I've got it on my phone as well, but I do love paper. So I'm just gonna keep everything handy to me so that in the morning I can refer to this and make outfit choices based on different ways that things have been put together. And then I'm also, I'm gonna treat myself and go shopping to get some things. Cause last summer I was smaller than I am now. So everything from last summer doesn't fit me. Um, so I'm gonna treat myself to a few pieces that are key pieces that will go with everything, um, which is really exciting. So I will take you with me. Okay, so the first shop is next. And I just, 
this mustard dress, it looked lovely on the model, but I think my skin tone isn't right. There's something, something not right about it. And the problem is with the shops, is they just don't have all the stuff that you see online. So I'm gonna have to order a lot of it online and try it on at home, which is fine. But just disappointing when you want to see it straight away. So she suggested a cream blazer to keep that smart look that I like. Um, all through spring and summer and I love it. Another one is the striped t-shirt, which I will always tuck in. So I love a tuck, you know me? So that is a win. So I've just been to Next to pick up my next parcel. Nothing was in the shop, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna order it and pick it up. So I'm gonna try everything on now so you can see. So first up are these jeans which I haven't worn jeans since, uh, white jeans I should say, since I was probably about 12. Um, I wasn't sure, but I mean like with this, with this shirt for example, like if I tucked it in, they're a bit tight. I don't know if I'll keep this size particularly, they're slightly tight, but then jeans do loosen, don't they? And I have got black pants on, which does not help the situation. Um, but yeah, I, I think I like those. So next up, is a denim boiler suit and I really don't know how I feel about this. Um, it's slightly tight so again um, the next sizes don't always agree with me so it's slightly tight so I'd have to get the next size up I think but I think I quite like it. I do feel like I'm off to go and do some like electronic work or something but yeah. The last thing is that dress that I tried on the other day. I thought I'd order it and have a little look. I think the problem is I don't actually like the dress. I don't like, it's a bit clingy. Um, besides that, I'm not entirely sure of the color. I think it's just a bit weird with my coloring, but I think I'd have to try a different style dress, maybe a, a more rigid fabric, but yeah, no, I don't like this one at all. So today is the first day I'm wearing something that Renee has suggested, and it is just a stripy t-shirt and a denim pencil skirt. And I just feel really smart. I'm gonna wear them with um, white pumps. But yeah, I just, a little front tuck, I feel great. Today, I'm whipping out the white jeans. Yes, I am. I've got them with a, a denim blouse. And yeah, I like them. One of the outfits that I have been wearing quite a lot is a denim blouse and this pencil skirt, which I had said I love a pencil skirt, but I never know how to wear it. Like, it looks too smart, because I wear it with a blouse. Um, but I just wanted to show you today I thought I'm gonna wear this like lightweight um, jumper. Um, and you can a little bit see my bra through it, which actually sort of adds to the look. But um, yeah, I just tucked it in and then I've got pencil skirt and then I just wore it with my grubby old pumps and it's just a little bit more of a casual look. So that's it. That's the end of my mummy style experience experience. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed the process myself and I cannot recommend Renee enough. Like she's just really, taken me from a place where I knew I'd go into a shop and I knew the sort of things that I was drawn to but I couldn't see the overall vision um and even when I sort of was talking to her and she's like okay you, you like smart things I was like yeah I do I do like smart things I didn't know how to translate that into outfits that would work for me as a mum of three somebody who's sitting on the floor playing Paw Patrol and PJ mask toys all the time and I'm on the floor and hands on and I'm in and out of the car all the time I'm walking through, through town and walking to town walking back to school I can't be in high heels and a, and a suit uh, you know I don't practice law in the city that's just not something I'd love to wear suits all the time that is, would be my dream day-to-day -day outfit but it's just not gonna work um and so yeah something that she said to me right in the like near the beginning of the process was you need to think smart 
but on a weekend and I was like okay so now when I get dressed in in the morning or like well I lay out my outfits the night before actually um and I just think okay so if I want to wear a pencil skirt how can I dress that down so today um as you saw in the frame before I just put on this casual jumper and I'm wearing my pumps with my pencil skirt so there's the element of the tailored look but then I'm dressing it down or if I'm wearing a really smart blouse I, I love a blouse I'll pair it with jeans uh, whereas before I was wearing a blouse with a pencil skirt and I did look like I was off to the office so I feel like now everything in my wardrobe can be paired with something else to give me that smart look but be practical for the the life that I live as a, as a mum of three. I will drop a link down below to my blog post I've written about this as well and of course I will link to Renee's website where you can book your own experience and you may be sitting there thinking mm, shall I do it shall I definitely do it. We always put ourselves last and something like your style can directly influence your well-being and your happiness because if you're not feeling great if you look in the mirror and you're not feeling great you're just gonna go out the house just with your shoulders slumped and just not feeling but if you put on an outfit that makes you feel amazing you're gonna walk tall and feel confident and feel happier and it will just lift your mood so you can't put a price on that honestly like it's well worth investing in yourself if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe for more uploads i will see you next sunday bye